Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today we are coming back to the remake series that was on my channel um, maybe a couple months ago, two months ago probably, perhaps. Here I am going to go ahead and start out with a wood green background. Now we are going to be scrapbooking some photos of this little pig and it says little pig big appetite on there. These are the thickers that I use. They're old. I don't, you probably wouldn't be able to find them again. And then I also used these ones right here to write out little pig. I am also going to be putting a border around this, which is a diagonal stripe. So again, on this series, it was, I was taking an old um, layout. So this is a video that has already been up on my channel. So I'm re-voiceovering re -voiceovering it over. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm doing the voiceover again, and then I'm going to copy this layout. And I like this layout the way it is. So in the past, I was copying the layout to improve on it. But in this case, I'm copying the layout because I think it is freaking awesome. I love the way this came out. It's so cute. So I am going to be copying this. The next video you see on my channel will be the copy. I'm going to go ahead and paste them maybe an, an hour apart. This one will probably go up at 5 and the next one will probably go up at 6 a.m. Those are a.m. Eastern time zone. So here you can see I did cut out the center of that. I went ahead to, I just wanted to save that. I love a diagonal stripe. I really love a diagonal stripe on a border of a page or on the border of photos. I think that is amazing. I don't know that I'm using a sketch on here. Usually I will put it in the top right hand corner of my screen. Just going by what I'm wearing, it doesn't look like this one was that long ago, but also I have acrylic nails on, so I know it's at least over a year old. So there you go. I am going to go ahead and commit to most of my um, title right here. It says Little Pig, Big Appetite. And I'm going to put my photos down like this. I do want to have a piece of paper under there. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. This one I think is out of a paper pad. That striped one, that diagonal striped one was a simple story. But this one I think is out of a paper pad. I will round the corners on this over on the right hand side of it. You can see right here I'm... Um, using my photos, kind of trying to measure out where I want it. Now in my remake, I do pretty much the same thing. Um, the photo position is going to be a little bit different on the new one, but yeah, I really like how this turned out. I did ink all the edges on this layout, which is really cool. I super enjoy doing that on the remake. I don't do that, but, um, kind of maybe I should have because that is something I really enjoy looking back and watching this. I'm thinking that yes, the inking of the edges is something I really enjoy. So you can see right here, I didn't like the way they really fit on this paper. So I am going to trim them down a little bit. I can't tell from where I'm looking, you might be able to tell, I can't tell from where I'm looking what measurements I actually made them. You can see right here, I'm probably watching something on YouTube or Netflix. So I was just changing it to the next one. So right here is about how my um, photos are going to be placed down right here. I'm, I don't end up matting these. Also a little bit weird for me. A lot of times I, I would say 80% of the time I map my photos on something, whether I map them individually or map them all as a group. In this one, I did not do that. So that was pretty interesting. I can see I did pull out a piece of Jen Hadfield paper and these have all those squares that have different sentiments on them. And it looks like I'm gonna cut up three of them. It looks like originally I had intended to put all these sentiments down there at the bottom of the page. But that's not what I'm going to end up doing. You can see that cute little sticker sheet over to the left hand side. I think that is like, um, I don't want to say a generic brand, but it might be probably from, it might be a Recollections, probably from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. On these squares, I'm only going to end up using the one that says eat, drink, and be cozy. And that's the one I'm going to put down. I did think maybe I might put some other ones down around the page. I think I even possibly trim out that enjoy to go up at the top, but it's not going to end up going up there. You can see on that sticker sheet, so cute. These apples are adorable. Again, I don't know exactly where they come from. I believe it's Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and I do believe it 
might be the generic brand recollections or paper studio probably recollections but you can see right there where i tried to use that enjoy it didn't really work but i did find some wood veneer so right here i do pull that one out this is real life and i go ahead and layer that apple up on top of it it looks really cute right i love that apple basket as well the reason these apples came into play is because pigs and it's funny because the image I have in my head is the pig on the cartoon type um, Thanksgiving table. And it has the, alp, the apple in its mouth. <laughs> so it's kind of gross <laughs> why that apple um, icon stuck in my head. But it did and I just had to use it. I do find some more. Um, wood veneer this one I put down the bottom says yum and you can see up there at the top where I put that apple I did this uh, a few minutes ago but you can see where I put the apple on top of that wood veneer square the square had a heart engraved on it but I went ahead and covered it up just with an apple I thought that was really cute these are some cute puppy stickers so when you go to Michael's or maybe when you go to Hobby Lobby don't discount the um, quote generic brands because I mean, you can get some good use out of them. They are just as cute as what you might get from American Crafts. Oftentimes, even more cute. So, yeah, uh, don't discount that. Uh, a lot of people I know don't like going to the big box stores like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joanne. But, I mean, we've got some cute stuff going on over there. So, I am going to do use some finishing touches over here. I'm going to end up using some champagne cover or colored like half dots I don't know what they're called baubles or something like that these I got these at close to my heart quite some time ago I mean like several years ago before I was a consultant right now it is June of 2020 and I've only been a consultant over there for a year but yes I picked these up several years ago when I was buying from close to my heart before I bit the bullet all right that was weird I don't know what happened my my uh video just cut me off anyways I got these years ago before I was a consultant so I'm gonna go ahead and put those down around the page that was so weird was it not I'm gonna put those down around the page they're really cute um, it's a champagne color which kind is lighter than the wood grain and background which kind of gives it a little bit of oomph right it's like not as light as the wood veneer I don't think but it's darker than the wood grain it sits right there in the middle it looks really cute I I am going to end up drawing some lines on here to do some journaling. Now, right here, when I'm looking back at this um, layout, this is before I have filed it, It I, I have written the journaling on it. So the journaling is there right now. At first, I thought this is something that Tiffany might want because Tiffany and Cameron were with us when we went here, but she didn't end up taking this layout. So I went ahead and wrote the journaling on it, and it's going in my album because, again, it's, you know, I was there. It's <laughs> something that we had done it together. So that was pretty cool. I do love these little bubbles. They're, I mean, I just think those are so cute. I hope we come back with some more of those. This pack had like a dark brown, a medium brown, and then the champagne. Here I'm going to go ahead and cover up my lines because I'm going to do journaling there, right? So I cover them up with this packaging and just do a little bit of... Um, spritz with some Heidi Swap color shine. That's either in bronze or it's in tea. I'm not sure what which color I ended up using. So yeah, this is pretty cute. And when I do the remake, I stay pretty close, guys. I mean, I just love this layout. So I didn't go too far out of the box when I went ahead and remade it. I thought it was so cute. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please stay tuned in the next hour or so and you will see the real remake of it which is going to be in real time all right guys thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you next time bye guys